again, smile. Uh, it's too hard to see. Yeah. Got a smile, go. I wish it would have been all balloons. Huh? I wish it would have been all balloons. I know, she would have loved it. <laughs> Good morning. This is Dr. Andre Acuna and my wife, Dr. Anessa Acuna. We're the owners of Doctors Physical Therapy and Sports Institute here in Edinburgh, Texas. We call our facility DPTSI for short. Um, we are happy to be here at this uh, podcast today, invited by Mr. Sae. We uh, appreciate you having us here at this facility. Um, we're really excited about... Um, continuing with uh, educating our community and letting them know, letting you all know what services that you have now in your backyard, in your community, and why it is that we wanted to come and, and promote our services for you. So we'll talk a little bit about DPTSI. We'll, we'll hear from the beautiful Miss Dr. Anessa and uh, get her, her input of uh, why it is that she does what she loves. And then uh, we'll get into a little bit of talk today on uh, the proper ways and the prioritization to uh, stretching and when you're with your workout component so first off we've got uh, our facility is located off of Jackson Road just south of Alberta Road we've got a uh, house that we converted into a clinic the address is 5216 South Jackson Road and uh, we invite the community to come out and check us out. We have the um, highlighted technology of anti-gravity machine, the Alter G. This is an uh, uh, anti-gravity machine that is uh, engineered by uh, NASA. And basically, they took the uh, components of training their astronauts into being into almost zero degrees of gravity and uh, train them to prepare for outer space uh, walking and movement. So what this anti-gravity machine does is I can unweigh up to 80% of a person's body weight and I can add 1% increments to where we get you back to 100% gravity while training on a treadmill. So the cool thing about this component is that um, there's only four, to my knowledge, in the valley right now. There's two at the hospital systems. There's one at the university. And then in the private sector, uh, so far, I'm the only one that knows that we have that one at our facility. So uh, come out and check out the anti-gravity Alter-G machine. Uh, if you say you heard our podcast, we'll give you a 10-minute free session to try it out yourself. Anything you want to add on that, Dr. Anessa? Um, just want to say that it's good for all patient populations, geriatric, uh, teenagers, just any age group except for, can kids use it? Yeah, definitely. We have uh, ability to uh, put the children side, into yeah. it and, um, and get them to benefit their, you know, ailments or needs. So anybody who's at a fall risk, if it's your grandparents or uh, your mom, your dad, they're in that machine, they have zero percent chance of falling out because they're it's uh safe it's they're yeah, very safe. safe and then we don't only talk about uh physical therapy related we also talk a lot about preventative injury and smart science uh training um so the anti-gravity machine is really good for our athletes who do a lot of long distance treading on their legs and uh you know our marathon runners our triathletes our uh, even our, our speed uh, runners, you know, come out, try it out. Let's let's train smart, and let's prevent uh, those joints and overuse injuries that uh, potentially we're doing by training, um, you know, endless endless miles and endless hours out on the track or or on uneven ground or even out on the pavement. Um, we have many athletes who have come to us and. They've said that they 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 can tell that they preserve their muscle integrity. They they improve their cardiovascular endurance. They improve their pulmonary endurance. Nothing's lost when you train on the Alter G. Um, and we also have uh, rates available for walk-ins. Uh, 
basically it's about a dollar a minute and um, we have specials going on all the time and if you have a uh, <laughs> there's a watch party now huh that's funny I like that Anthony good job you got a got a got a watch party here I think it's him and my three-year-old and our nine-month-old and maybe grandma's in that watch party too but anyhow we want to give a shout out and say hi let's go ahead and talk uh, say hi to all the people who joined uh orly cano jessica brooks uh steven and audra cruz anthony pete charles thank you for joining and uh, we hope that this information is informative for you and all of the uh, you know friends and colleagues and people that you influence on your daily daily grind uh we we'd like to to give you a shout out to you guys and, and extend the invitation to talk about what we do and why we do it uh, and our passion for it. Um, we were talking about athletes here. Uh, it's very important to, you love what you do. If you love the sport, you want to do it all the time. If you injure yourself, you can't do what you love all the time. And you end up finding yourself one way or another, either not, not walking, not running, not jumping and losing what everything you worked for so come talk to a physical therapist let us identify needs that uh, are appropriate to your training and help you just uh, you know be smart about your your training regimen and keep you doing the stuff you love uh, we'll give a shout out to Ted and Alicia Cunha, JJ Gonzalez, Janie Amador thank you for uh, tuning in so we're talking about our anti-gravity machine highlighted uh, here in the valley we're located here on Jackson and Alberta Road. Come, come by and check it out. The next thing we want to highlight is our HydroWorks uh, underwater treadmill. This, this uh, underwater treadmill is, is really cool because um, people think of aquatic therapy and they say, hey, you know, uh, I'm going to go into a pool and I'm going to do exercises. Um, but basically in our underwater treadmill, HydroWorks, which is internationally known, uh, to, to work with, uh, you know, college, universities, uh, athletic, uh, you know, facilities such as, you know, the college level and the professional level. Uh, they go in and they get their athletes uh, in these machines, into these aquatic machines to train on, uh, you know, unweighted type of regimens. And then they have, a, the cool thing about them is they have a treadmill that, uh, that, that you can turn on and now you add a dynamic component to your exercise regimen. So the numbers behind what the science says here is that uh, if you do an aquatic regimen, uh, let's say for a period of time, let's just keep numbers simple. We do it for an hour. Uh, doing that same hour long uh, regimen uh, or, or time in the HydroWorks with the dynamic component will add a 30% muscular output and gain. So Basically, you just improved your training by 30% by doing the same amount of time, but different activity in an underwater treadmill. So we've got that here in your backyard. Um, likes of these uh, machines are in San Antonio, Houston, Dallas. You don't have to drive up there to use these machines anymore. They're here in your backyard, in your community, and we um, invite you guys to come and check it out. Uh, cool thing about the uh, HydroWorks is that it can raise up to a level of four feet two inches height and I can decrease by one inch intervals if we want to introduce more of uh, gravity into our training but uh, it helps to preserve uh, you know m joint impact forces coming in from your spine all the way down to your ankles and feet uh, we also have a jet component that the jet component adds a resistance training so as if you're running uphill or weighted resistance and then at the end of your session, you can add the uh, the um, you can add the uh, jet component uh, hose, and then give yourself a deep tissue massage to you know break up, flush out all the toxins in your muscles lactic that acid. yeah, and the lactic acid uh, that was uh, you know established in your body during your treatment. So you really come out of there very uh, rejuvenated and feeling fresh, and um, it's a great great uh, modality to use. Um, underwater treadmill I don't think there's another one down here come by and check it out come by and uh, utilize it uh, come and train smart again we want to reiterate we want to reiterate and let everyone know 
physical therapist is not for only for injury related purpose okay we can help you when you're during your training regimen or wanting think to start. wanting to start your training regimen um even pre-surgery pre-operative anything that you have going on shoulder problems neck problems hip problems knee problems we can't we can't reiterate enough or reinforce enough that the pt is somebody you definitely want to have in your p part of your party and your plan with uh you know your coaches and your trainers and all the other things that you're and your google buddies too you know let us go in there and let us be part of your team we want to give a shout out to jacob powell for joining thank you again we saw uh that jj uh gonzalez joined us as well welcome you guys lisa adams bowling thank you for joining liam o'connor renee barrera you know, Hosa, thank you so much. Uh, Brian, Coach Brian Molina, thank you. Uh, we hope to talk to you guys soon or see you in our facility. We ask that you spread the word of the information we're giving out. And thank you for your feedback here. Give us feedback if you have any questions. Now's the time, Dr. Nessa Cunha, Dr. Andre here. Um, we want to be able to answer your questions and help you out with anything in your needs. Um, any points you want to hit there on the uh, HydroWorks? Um, just that you don't only have to use it for running, right? You can do different yeah. types of exercises in there. Without you a doubt. You just want to unweight, but don't feel like running that particular day. Yeah, we, so. people want to say, how do you use that machine? Like, what is the real... Look, I've had marathon runners, triathletes. I've had long-distance, short-distance runners. I had crossfitters. I've had those power lifters. Okay. Uh, we've had the elderly in there. We've had the young in there. You know, we've had the working class myself. I go in there to rejuvenate a lot after a long, long day of work and it feels great. But, you know, just to, just to let you all know, there's not one subject or not particular case that it cannot help you with. And, and, and that HydroWorks is, is a great, great, great uh, utilization to have. It's set at 80 to 90 degrees of water to help open the pores and the, and the blood flow circulation in the body. And uh, again, you know, running on a treadmill underwater like no other training before. We put a lot of our high, higher level athletes with great, great, great endurance and great cardiovascular type of responses into our uh, HydroWorks. And I've, you know, for a lot, for most of them, they can't last 15 to 20 minutes after my high intensity interval training program that I give them. And, and, and for the most part, they say, hey, doc, this is a training like no other. And I didn't know that um you know this was lacking in my training sense so not only is it good for recovery uh you know if you're hitting a training regimen of you know five six days a week you got to use you know um other sources or resources of training so that your body can can um you know uh relax from the the vigorous training that you're doing and in and, and the pounding ground that you're doing so you know try cycling try alter alter g um you know try like a versa climber try uh, you know hydro works especially add that to to one or two days of your of your training regimen you're going to see that your body's going to thank you you know um <clears throat> There's a question from JJ, can the HydroWorks help improve poor cardiovascular fitness over time? Most definitely, you know, I've got, I've got patients in there that are elderly and overweight and um, they can't make it from the, from the parking lot to the, uh, to the uh, waiting room without being out of breath. And, um, you know, they think of physical therapy and they think, man, I'm going to, I'm going to go in there and I'm, they're just going to put me on a treadmill or I'm going to not be able to do anything. I'm going to lay in a bed and I'm just going to lift my leg and do this, move my, pump my, no, we put you in the HydroWorks and uh, let me give you a perfect case example. I had one lady who walked in with, or didn't walk in, had a motorized wheelchair, over 300 pounds. She's about 55 years old and she says, doc, I haven't walked in five years. You know, I can hardly stand up from, uh, from my chair to get into my bed. It says, but I've got a three-year-old little grandson, and I just want to be able to someday play with him. Or even if he graduates, you know, kindergarten or whatnot, I want to be able to walk. I said, okay, well, let's go. Let's do it. And, you know, she, she was surprised. It's like day one. I said, yeah, your training starts now. Let's do this, right? So um, got the patient in the HydroWorks. Uh, uh, sorry, I got the patient in the Ultra G. She was able to walk first day, five minutes. I unweighted about 40 40 to 50 percent of her body weight 
And next thing you know, by the time, you know, the end of her day, uh, she was happy, very happy. She didn't think that she could do it. She was very safe. Uh, after a 30-day 30, 30 session or, 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 or one-month treatment regimen, um, she dropped 50 pounds. She was able to walk 50 uh she was able to walk for 30 minutes at 75% uh, of her body weight. And, you know, all her arthritic pain, osteoporotic pain, a lot of that had decreased. So the HydroWorks unweighted therapy, Ultra G unweighted therapy is very, very important. And science says it's the smart way of training. And, and it's also the best way to get to faster recovery and, re and rehabilitation. So, <clears throat> you know, just highlighting those points again. Uh, those are all testimonies of patients that we've been able to help, um, you know, and, and like I said, yeah, improve and restore, you know, and, and when they start seeing that the goals are attainable, then they start realizing that this is definitely something we need. Um, so we definitely have a picture of our Hydra works there on the uh, slideshow there and uh, similar to what it is. Of course, any and every picture that you find there, you're gonna find the best looking athletes, you know, and and and, and very, uh, uh, you know, uh, model like yes. person. But uh, it's for anyone and everyone. Uh, again, that is a uh, um, that's definitely uh, you know full water in that chamber. But I can get it all the way to one inch of water with the treadmill going. So it's a good way to get any kind of uh, person trying to train on walking walking on. Uh, 100% gravity back to back to it, but the smart way. Now, you know, we tell people all the time, hey, summer's around the corner. Summer's pretty much here, right? 100, 100 degree weather is out here already, and it's only going to get worse, you know? Who's going to want to go train outside, dehydrate, uh, you know, put all these extra miles on their muscles and joints and uh, and, and then just be miserable or, or say, no, it's too hot. I'm not going to go run, even though I know I should um, well, you know, hey, come into our facility and utilize these services, and you're going to find that you're still able to run. You're stay, still able to put the miles that you need, and you're going to find that your body's going to thank you. So um, that's pretty much uh, the details on our HydroWorks and the details on our anti-gravity machine. reason why we brought this down is because we felt that our community deserved better. We felt that if our industry is saying that these are the science-based technologies that uh, patients are, need to benefit from in order to recover and rehabilitate better, then why not have it here in our own backyard? So uh, we just want to, you know, extend the gratitude to you guys in the community for entrusting us with your care, and we want you to understand that, um, you know, it's, it's, it's our way of saying you deserve this type of approach and you deserve this type of uh, modalities in order to add to your care uh, so that you can reach the quality of life and the goals that you want. So uh, shout out to our DPTSI um, prehab before rehab uh, motto. That's definitely what we want. Uh, another motto that we strong, our mantra is, you know, the results you want and the care you deserve. So we, we definitely stand behind that as well. So uh, please come by, give us a call, 956-205-2704. Set up a meeting or appointment consultation with uh, your DPTs from there, and let's talk about how we can help you. Again, physical therapy is not meant for injury and just only post-rehab type of care. We are for preventative injury too. Grab your local doctor physical therapist and ask about what's going on. If you guys, I've got one perfect example. I'll let Miss Anessa, Dr. Anessa talk. I'm taking over the time here. But one perfect example. How many of you drive a car with a check engine light on? Okay. How many of you say, well, if the check engine light's on, but the car gets me from point A to point B, I'm going to not worry about that check engine light. It's not until that vehicle stops running that you say, shoot, I need to go see a specialist to see what's going on with my vehicle. Well, every day we're doing that to our body. If you're training, moving, jumping, whatever it is that you're doing and you have pain, then your check engine light is on and it's telling your brain you need to see a specialist and we're the specialist that you need to come see. But what I challenge everybody is let's say san antonio is the closest big city right let's say you come by see us before you go to san antonio i'm going to empty the air in one of your tires 
And I'm going to tell you, okay, drive to San Antonio like this, but you cannot put air in your tire. You're going to say I'm crazy, right? But that's what you're doing with your body. You're not letting your body function 100%. You're, you're waiting for something to break down. And eventually, it's going to lead to an injury or a dysfunction that's going to be longer to rehabilitate from. So one of two things. You're either going to see us before because you're smart, you're in tune with your body, and you want to prevent injury, or you're going to see us after you injure something. So, you know, choices in you guys. Uh, we want the community to know that there's very, very, very well educated and smart uh, doctors of physical therapy in your community and um, we just want to let you know about our facility at DPTSI and what we are doing to help you so we ask you to join us and and come by and visit us please uh, Dr. Nessa anything you want to hit on um, typically we we see patients come in and they uh, complain of a pain that they've had for years and years and years um, we just want you all to know that you can come in and ask ask about the pain and and um, we can always give our professional opinion and then guide you in the right direction whether it's you need to see a physician or if it's something that that we can help you um, help you with at the moment but um, these services that we're discussing do not all re require a doctor's referral Right. Yeah, definitely. It was just a consultation to mm -hmm. uh, it was just a consultation to to see what's going on with your body. Um, yeah, there's definitely no need to go see a physician. But now that we're on that point, um, let's talk about direct access. Direct access is now uh, on the governor's table, uh, Greg Abbott, uh, to sign. It was passed through the Senate and through the House, and that allows for patients in the state of Texas to now be able to walk in to go visit a physical therapist without the need of a referral and to be treated by a physical therapist without the need of referral for up to 10 visits. Now that physical therapist, the, the prerequisites are they have to be a doctor or physical therapist, or if they're not, they have to have up to 30 credit hours of continued education on differential diagnosis. But nonetheless, uh, you know, in talking to our advocates up in Austin on the, on the, Texas Physical Therapy Occupational Therapy uh, Board of Examiners, they said that September 1st would be the soonest that we can implement this uh, this bill. So starting September this year, it's not it's too funny. far not too far away, but uh, once uh, Governor Greg Abbott signs that bill and everything's appropriated like it should, uh, we should be able to just have you walk into a physical therapist's office and ask for the DPT and say, hey, you know, I hurt my shoulder, I hurt my back, or I think I'm doing this or that. Uh, can you work on me? And then it's our uh, obligation to uh, make sure that we're providing the best care and, and make sure that we are um, addressing appropriately. If we find that it's maybe something that, uh, out of our scope. Uh, uh, you know, it's out of our scope practice that we need to refer out to a specialist or to your primary care, you know, then then we, we are educated well enough to be able to do that. But, um, you know, the, requ the requirements for direct access, like I said, was, uh, you know, uh, 10 days for a doctor of physical therapy. If you have your fellowship, which I'm currently in the process of gaining my fellowship, fellowship for orthopedic manual therapy, you get up to 15 direct days to uh, see the patient and treat them without having to need uh, to send out to referral. Now, if we can't get you better in those days, then we need to send you out to a, a, a physician or, or a specialist alike to be able to help what's going on. But for weekend warriors, for just patients who say, you know, I know I injured myself, I need this or I need that, you are now going to be able to do that. Uh, hopefully come in September 1st, but that's what I've learned as being the soonest uh, for that to happen. So again, you have more questions about direct exit, please don't hesitate to come by, call us, give us, you know, um, give us a visit so we can talk to you about that as well so that's something exciting it's big for the state uh for you know for the state of our industry uh 48 states around the nation had already passed direct access uh texas was one of the latest uh, to add it but this is going to help cut down your time sitting in a doctor's office cut down on uh you know the time of utilization utilization of your uh insurance and uh you know just cut down in money as a whole so um, 
you know, utilize a doctor physical therapy as part of your team. We're going to be able to help you out a lot with uh, figuring out what's going on with your body. You know, we are the body movement analyst experts. So, um, you know, give us a chance to be part of your team. And again, doesn't have to be rehab related. It can be very preventative, very, very much so. Uh, physical therapists can help in, in your training. Uh, you don't have to have pain in order to see a physical therapist either. Um, you can definitely, definitely want to work on uh, core stability, strengthening, or, or weaknesses uh, of stability, muscles, or, or you know, things that you want to be educated on. We can definitely help uh, guide you and plan for that. So uh, utilize our services uh, as you please. So that's uh, the highlight of our company, Doctors Physical Therapy and Sports Institute. DPTSI for short. You can visit our website at www.dptsi.org. You can uh, like us on Facebook, uh, give us some ratings on Google and Yelp, uh, help get the uh, community, uh, make them aware of what it is that we have in our facility and what they have or you all have in your backyard. Um, and please, we have a passion to help people. We've got a great, great, great uh, net network of, of uh, you know, team members and and uh, and referring clinicians alike. Um, we like to make sure that uh, people from all over the valley understand that uh, they have the choice to choose the physical therapy place that they want. And, um, you know, physicians and clinicians alike are very, very knowledgeable at how to uh, respect your wishes to go where you'd like. So we want you to know that we are just another resource to choose from. Um, definitely, if you are in a position where you need physical therapy services or, and you're just not happy with what what you've seen or what you've done or experienced in the past, give us a, give us a chance to be able to show you what it is, our passion that drives us and how to help you get to where you need to be. And, uh, and even at that, just to have a little bit of uh, relationship building and camaraderie because uh, definitely patients that we have had in our past, uh, they keep us uh, in, in their circle, um, whether they be from, uh, you know, the winter snowbirds uh, or, or, or out from other areas uh, in, in Paradise Islands. They give us a call and they keep in contact with us because they just know that they have a, a good person in their, in their, in their circle. So. Again, we invite you guys out to uh, visit and learn about us. Uh, we're going to transition into uh, the importance of stretching. That was one of the main things that was brought up to me. A lot of uh, frequently asked questions that are, uh, you know, mentioned to me, especially by athletes. Um, they say, well, you know, Doc, I, I forget to stretch. You know, I just want to have the the grind of the workout, the sweat and the tears and the blood, and I forget to stretch. I said, well, tell me a little bit about what stretching means to you. And for the most part, uh, they say, well, you know, I got to reach down and touch my toes, or I got to bring my shoulder across my body and hold it there. And well, how long do you hold it? Well, I, I do for about 10, 15 seconds, and I move on to the next one. I say, well, when do you do it? Well, I usually do it at the beginning of my workout and then I what do you do at the end well I do nothing I pack up my stuff and I go home and and so you know we want to kind of help educate people a little bit uh, more about why stretching is important and how you should properly stretch and then that'll be pretty much it for our program today um, basically dynamic stretching versus static stretching right dynamic stretching is movement based Static stretching is holding a stretch over time, okay? First point is dynamic stretching is the most important to do before your workout. Static stretching you do for your cool down at the end of your workout. What is dynamic stretches and what is the purpose for that? Well, let's just take a scenario of uh, getting a bucket of ice water thrown on you after you sleep for seven hours. Probably not the best way to wake someone up, and probably going to be very shocked and, and, and you're going to kick into this fight or flight response. Well, that's what happens when you don't prepare your muscles appropriately for any kind of exercise regimen. 
dynamic stretching is the best way to get your body moving and get it prepared telling your muscles telling your brain hey we're about to move we're about to do something that's uh, maybe out of our comfort zone and let's get the muscles moving properly so that we don't have stresses into our tendons stresses into our joints and stresses into our ligaments okay so First thing first, we can. I'm gonna forego a lot of the anatomy, physiology, and all the uh, other kind of science-related stuff because I don't want to bore you too much. But there's mechanoreceptors in our body. These are, uh, you know, uh, receptors that re react to uh, stimulus, and they are the ones that send signals to our brain through our nervous system, and they tell us whether we need to tighten up to protect or we need to relax to to uh, just kind of cool down and, and, and not, uh, not, not panic, right? So it depends on what you're gonna do to your body or what stimulus from our sensory uh, output is uh, reacting to whatever stimulus is coming from our environment, okay? So a dynamic warm-up is good to prepare those receptors to tell them, hey, muscles move, you need to be extens, you have to have extensibility, you have to be pliable. Uh, if you're working out with tight muscles, all you're doing is preparing your body for injury, okay? Mm -hmm. So don't stretch, injure yourself. Come see DPTSI, right? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta put in that plug, right? Come see your physical therapist if you don't stretch because you're, 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 you're basically, t you're driving down the road of uh, injury, injury, okay? Yeah. Um, dynamic stretching also helps to uh, increase circulation, increase blood flow. It helps get your uh, heart working better uh, and prepared for the stimulus of the exercise you're about to do. Okay. Uh, types of dynamic stretches. Well, you know, there's different types of things that you can do. Uh, typically, you want to you want to incorporate about 10 minutes of your of your time. You want to incorporate a dynamic stretch before your workout. Um, a dynamic stretch could be arm circles. It could be, you know, basically, uh, you know, doing um, uh, lunges. some lunges or some hurdle uh, knee highs or or some stepping up and down. Or hey, Michelle, good to good to see you joining our podcast. Um, thanks to you guys for joining Monica Benitez as well. Uh, but yeah, arm circles, arm waves, uh, twi t trunk twist, uh, you know, forward, sideways, lateral lunges, mm -hmm. uh, marching in place, hurdle steps, ankle pumps. A lot of that kind of stuff is very good to prep your body, right? And get it, get it going. Um, do your exercise regimen. Do your exercise regimen. Don't don't let up of it, uh, you know, because, you know, you already prepared your muscles. You, you stretch dynamically. Now, if you don't stretch before, then, yeah, you're probably going to be uh, working through some tight, tight movements when you're doing your exercise regimen. And, you know, your endorphins kick in, your adrenaline kicks in. You're like mind over matter, no pain, no gain. I'm going to work through this. And then next thing you know you pull something or next thing you know you hear a pop or next thing you know that's why you have to warm up too. exactly that's why you have to warm up so again you don't warm up <clears throat> you're going to come visit us at dptsi right because you're going to injure something but what are, what is the importance of a cool down stretch well you know cool down stretch is very important too to help maintain the extensibility of a muscle and let the muscle know hey work at your full capacity when you're doing things that aren't necessarily your regimen of workout right so how long do we need to stretch you know 30 to 45 seconds is important there's a lot of receptors out there mechanical receptors that put our muscles in a tightened state and they need to engage in order to allow for pliability or extensibility so the body requires that time if you overstretch for too long you know over a minute's time you may be also introducing uh, injury because your muscles are now to relax, okay? So you want to make sure that um, you're going to be putting in uh, your your time that is needed appropriately for your stretch, okay? So question by Saeed, how long should we how long should we stretch after exercise? A lot of it depends on what you're uh, targeting, right? Uh, if you did a lot of lower extremity uh, workout stuff and you just 
needing to stretch. Hey, you know, for each muscle group, you can do at least two to three uh, reps of 30 to 45 seconds. So, um, so that just depends. But if you're if you're sitting down and saying, look, I need to I need to make sure that uh, I do a static stretch. If you're doing less than five minutes on a static stretch after your workout, you're probably not giving your muscles the enough time that's uh, needed. I'd like to say hey to David Carr for joining and Miss Deborah Swain. Thank you for joining. Hope Cleveland Johnson. Thank you for uh, joining too. Uh, we're just giving a lot of information out today about the importance of stretching. We also talked some more about our company here at DPTSI. So we invite you to listen to the whole podcast and learn some more and spread the word for us. Um, so that's uh, that's pretty much the uh, main main reason for the stretch. Now, let me tell you a little bit more on the clinical side. We have athletes coming in a lot and say, look, doc, I am stretching, but I just can't. My left hamstring is just super tight or my right hamstring is super tight and I stretch, stretch, stretch all day but I just feel something's not right. And by the way, my knee hurts. So, okay, you know, what have you done for it? Well, I said I ibuprofen it, I went and got an x-ray and I, you know, they just said, you know, hamstring strain here and there, but, well, what we do at DPTSI, and especially through our education and our fellowship training and all our other certifications that we've had, is we've learned that if you just look at what's in the box, then you're missing something. If you come in and say, my hamstring's tight and my knee hurts, and all we do is look at your knee, and we say, okay, yeah, well, you just need to uh, massage it, maybe just, uh, you know, kind of do like a foam roll, and, uh, you know, we can do maybe some cupping, dry kneeling, or cold laser, you know, all the stuff that we have at our facility. If we were just to sit there and do that, then we are just looking at the box. We're looking in the box. We're not looking out of the box. What we're going to do is we're going to do an assessment evaluation of your spine, your hips, your pelvis, your knees, your ankles, and we're going to find out why is it that your hamstrings are tight and why is it that you have pain in your knee. And a lot of times what we find is that you have a malposition or malalignment in your in your spine and in your uh, pelvis, and that's the reason why your muscles are shortened. So a lot of people come in and say, look, it's, it's only when I stand up from, you know, the chair, the toilet, I get out of my office desk, or I'm trying to get in and out of my car, I feel that pull and it hurts and this and that, but, you know, I, I don't know what it is. Well, come in, we're going to e evaluate you, and we're probably going to find that you have uh, you know, uh, a malpositioned, uh, well, you know, dysfunction, dysfunction yeah. there, and we're going to help you correct that. You do, usually, after we do an adjustment to manipulation or whatnot to correct your, uh, you know, malfunction of your movement, then you're going to notice instant relief. So um, definitely, definitely, instead of putting a Band-Aid on a situation, you need to look at the core cause. Uh, I've had a conversation with Isai about that, and he understands the value of that. Uh, comment because we're not just going to treat the symptoms. We're going to find a dysfunction. We're going to correct the dysfunction. You're going to notice that your symptoms are going to reduce a lot. Um, so those are examples about what we do there at uh, DPTSI and why it is that we want to let our community know athlete-based, um, you know, professional, non-professional, weekend warriors. Uh, we want you to understand that Doctors Physical Therapy and Sports Institute is here to help you get your body right, understand and educate you exactly what you need to be doing for your training, understand and educate that the no pain, no, no gain theory is out the window. If you're fighting through pain, all you're doing is you're, you're driving your car with the check engine light. And eventually that check engine light that's in your body is going to tell you that you overdid it. And you're going to find yourself on a surgery table or in a rehab place saying dang i should have i should have addressed and i should have treated uh i should have i should have been proactive i should have seen the doctors at dptsi and they would help me not be here i'd love to be out there playing flag football i love to be out there golfing i love to be out there swimming running jumping whatever it is you do um you won't be able to do that if if you're just ignoring your check engine light so um welcome aaron acuna all the way from uh, detroit michigan um, give you a shout out here. Uh, but anyhow, um, that's my, that's my soapbox on, on how to prepare your body, right? How to stretch. Uh, we have uh, tons of information and, uh, science-based research articles and journals that, uh, you can have at the, you know, uh, tip of your fingers and, and, and read about, 
Uh, we post stuff on our website all the time, www.dptsi.org. There's blogs. We're going to be adding these podcasts here for you to utilize and have at your disposal. Um, reach out to us. Uh, send a comment. Ask a question. Uh, call us. And uh, we're definitely going to be um, there to help you. Uh, you have a team of experts, clinicians in physical therapy willing to help you. Uh, you guys utilize these resources to help your, your body stay right. Dr. Nessa, anything you wanted to add there? I just wanted to emphasize that um, at our clinic, we're not like a lot of other clinics. We hear patients complain that they don't receive one-on-one -on -one care from a licensed professional, and that does not happen at our, at our facility. So you can have full confidence that you're going to receive the best care anytime that you come and visit us. Alrighty, so that's a wrap for our podcast. Um, we'd like to thank to all the listeners that are live with us now, and we welcome all the future listeners to uh, to you know join us in in our um, path and journey to health and wellness for members of our community. Realize and and know that you have great services in your own backyard now. Um, we will have a short little time for question and answers here uh, at the end. If you have any questions, feel free to um, type them in your comment section and we'll address those. Uh, if we don't have any questions at this time, tune into our podcast, uh, which will be next week. And um, we'll start hitting on some other sub uh, subjects that are important that you may want to know about. Uh, just remember you have uh, great resources at the tip of your fingers. So um, feel free to chime in. Thank you again. So any question and answering we'll do now, uh, feel free to type in. We can wait like 30 seconds. We're going to wait. Okay. If not, I'm sorry. Give more shout outs here to Oz Salinas, uh, Salinas and Rodney Acuna. Thank you for joining. Go back and listen to the, uh, I, I'm being told it's 40 minutes that I talked. <laughs> <laughs> and I think two minutes that Dr. Anessa talked. But anyway, um, thank you again for joining in.